Yeah, you know, how you hooked up the shots. Okay, let's just watch it. <laughs> and then I'll ask again. Uh, I'll play without the sound. Maybe I'll ask during. So, like, you have a way of um, just the way you edited everything together. So, mm -hmm. it feels very natural where you're leading our eyes. Yeah. Like the way you hook up shots and. Yeah, yeah. Um, was this a, an organic approach as well? Um, yeah, so this was. Um, I love this punch. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, a lot of that has to do with uh, continuing the camera movement from the previous shot, and making sure that, for example, example, I, I think it's almost everywhere. But for example, when she grabs his face, you see the camera <laughs> rotating a little bit to the left. Yeah, yeah. And then on this shot, that movement continues. The camera rotate to the left movement continues. Yeah. And if you do that for your shots, it just creates like an organic feel to it. Like it's just sort of easy on the eyes. Also adds weight. You know what I mean? There's like a bit of overlap. So it feels heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's not something that like I set out to do when I was animating it. It's just that when I was editing, like the animation, like in the, like I use After Effects when I was putting stuff together. <laughs> I love that pose. It's just so <laughs> like warped. <laughs> it's great. But yeah, when I was when I was working on this, I was editing everything together at the same time. Um, so I was animating and then editing like afterwards just to make sure everything was hooking up. Um, every so time. Here. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was just gonna say, so like every time I put it in the edit, I would notice when like cuts felt a little bit off. And so like everything I did would just sort of naturally gravitated towards me having this like continuous counter movement. Um, I'm not gonna say that that's the right way to go all the time. Uh, but I think when it comes to cameras that are following a lot of movement, that might the uh, right thing to do it's definitely like helps your eyes not follow everything. yeah i guess on a smaller scale that's fine because you're just doing things on the fly right so it works for you yeah yeah so this is our 3d effects obviously no creator here no because i didn't know Kida. is it creator or Kida? <laughs> is it just uh is it just like spheres and they're like elongated. Yeah, um, perfect. A blend of farmer on them. <laughs> um, because nobody's going to tell me what to do. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's just like a, you know, just a fun thing that I did for myself. So These are my smears, damn it. Um, these are just spheres that are slowly growing. And it's mm. just, they just have surface shaders on them. Yeah. Um, so with, um, like, I really love that punch, that overhand right she does. Is that like a, uh, did you use reference for that? Did you shoot it yourself? Oh, yeah, I actually shot reference for this part. Yeah. I almost threw my arm out to this. But uh, <laughs> I wanted to make sure it was, like, a really hard punch, so I shot reference. I didn't stretch or anything before that. What did you punch? I didn't punch anything. I just punched uh, the ear. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. So we're doing all of that follow through and stuff. So there you go. Uh, your foot, like I really love the follow through of the foot and the body and the steps. Yeah, yeah. So this is like, like, uh, like this part was not referenced. This part I just did myself. But when it comes to like from here on out, this was referenced. So yeah, like the foot coming down like that, that was referenced as well. Um, yeah, you used to like a video game reference too. Isn't that a Tekken move? The bounce. It's just, it's weird and <laughs> bullshit. It doesn't make sense. It literally doesn't make sense. But it's it's cool. cool. <laughs> that's, that's why, you know, that's why I, I can get away with this is because, like, you know, he's she's punching him, bouncing on the floor, and she's, like, punching him, and he's staying in the air for some reason. 
It makes yeah, more sense. Cool. Physically makes more sense, but because like it feels cool, you just go with it. And also, like you know, I just I played a ton of games, and like this kind of stuff happens all the time. Like he should be on the ground right now, like falling down, but for some reason he's like. He's going in slow motion and she's going in real time. But you know what? It's okay. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, is there any, um, I guess, rules or tips you use for like going from real time to slow motion? Um, yeah. Let's uh, do that as well. So, sure. Not to know. Sure. Um, so, what I do is pretty simple it's just um, I'll animate the action. Like, so this animation, this punch was just animated normally, like it was a normal punch. I didn't shoot reference of myself, then slow it down or anything. Like, it was just a normal punch, and I animated it in real time. And what I did was, um, you know, just if I have, so let's say this is my timeline, and these are all. Uh, keyframes, right? So, like, imagine this whole animation the good lines. playing out within this section. I'll find a moment where I want the slow motion to happen. Let's say I want it to happen here. Take all these keys and all these keys, and I'll just move them apart. Mm -hmm. so, like, it ends up being. So this is my timeline with the slow motion. There's a space here, right, between my keys. And in the graph editor, these keys, um, I make sure that they're linear. So just to, for simplicity's sake, if I, if I have a curve that's gone like this, and like this, um, no, it's a bad example. I'm trying to think of the right curve to use. Sorry. Sorry, let's, let's go with this. It doesn't matter. Um, if I have a curve that's like this, um, I'll split it here, for example, right? And I'll take all of these keys. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'll take all of these keys and then all these keys and move them apart so that they end up looking like uh, like I make sure that these keys are like linear and then everything here just like continues normally. So it's it's quite literally just taking the keys apart and making sure those yeah, yeah. connecting keyframes are linear. And you do the same thing for the camera. Yep. Um, so essentially, grab everything, key it, and then grab the next frame or the next bunch of frames, key it, and then just pull it apart. Yeah, pretty much. It's there's nothing special to it or anything. Yeah. Um, so another thing that, that I would suggest, if anybody is doing like, uh, you know, fun actiony stuff. Uh, that includes like That's all of them. Fighting, <laughs> like if there's uh, if you do anything with like punches or like impacts and stuff like that, tip that I can give you is like camera shake. Um, camera shake is like it adds a lot of impact to your stuff, or can help elevate your animation and create impact. Um, so if I this section, for example. Maybe that's not the best. Yeah, okay. So for like this, for example, after the, the punch hits, you can see the camera shaking. Don't, don't look at the background, just look at the character's placement, then you can notice the shaking. Mm -hmm. So it's a small, subtle thing. All I'm doing is like taking uh, I'm just keying the camera a bunch, 
and then like taking those keys and like if it was like a Y, for example, like it would just look like that. Just for like, I don't know, maybe five to eight frames or so. I'll just add camera shape like for the punch. And you, just a simple thing like that, like adds so much impact to all your stuff. So you can see the camera shape there as well. So Paolo asks, is that like um, one frame later with the shake start? Um, like after the impact and I then maybe? It quite matters. That's getting like pretty nitty gritty. You can start it one frame later or on the frame. Like, I don't think that makes a difference. As long as it's, you know, like pretty much when the impact is happening. Yeah. Probably depends on the scale of it and yeah. if they're giant creatures or humans. Yeah, so it's like, it's sort of like a tips and tricks kind of thing. It's mm. sort of feels cheap, I guess, but it, it does like add to your like impacts and stuff. So it's just something to keep in mind. Yeah, just another layer of polish, I guess it is. Yeah. Does anyone else have any more questions? Anybody want to jump in the mic or the cam and ask? Please don't. Yeah. Um, because your uh, long, crazy, like, choreographed action shots seem to be your thing, mm -hmm. do you ever worry about, like, repeating, like, any of your sweet character moves from, like, one project or character to another? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I do worry about that. Uh, so I guess I try, like I try to. A good thing for me is like so far I haven't done that much yet, like different things. So I haven't run into the problem. I think mm -hmm. doing the same actions over and over, but I can definitely see myself getting there. <laughs> <laughs> So you have to make like a conscious yeah, like so, thought to make to not make those moves. Yeah, if that ever becomes like a, a an issue for me, then I'll have to make sure that I try to you know make sure that the moves are different. But I definitely have I do think I have like a certain style or just like sensibility. Yeah, just uh, yeah, animation, saving it to a library <laughs> and changing the camera, aren't you? Exactly. Putting on different characters. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, cool. yeah, if it if it my stuff ever starts feeling redundant to let me know. Okay. What are you doing next? What's your next um character? Uh I have um I have like an idea with, uh, oh, what's that? Yeah, Steph Parker. Oh, oh me? Uh, oh, yeah. I was waiting for Day Panther. <laughs> I was, man, I was trying to see if that was. I'm sorry. We think we have gone wet. That's so all. early. <laughs> um, I'm going to try like an acting piece, I think. So we'll see how that goes. Cool. Oh no! I was just uh, I was just saying your name because I just realized it was you. Oh yeah. Not, not, not like another stuff. <laughs> like, uh, I wasn't. Sorry, I'm like half asleep. <laughs> <laughs>